A very good afternoon everyone happy pi day 2024 welcome to for the fourth day of faculty development program pi day serves a reminder of university of mathematics regardless of culture language or background pi remains constant and unchanging symbolizing the inherent order and harmony of universe it is a unified force that transcends boundaries and connected as all through the shared language of numbers this celebration not only make mathematics more accessible and engaging but also showcase the playful side of intellectual inquiry honoring the transi- transcendent beauty of mathematics mathematical constant phi today we join this day with the utility of artificial intelligence in research effort to better it integrating ai into the research paradigm represent a paradigm shift with the profound implications for humanity's collective pursuit of knowledge and progress by leveraging the capabilities of ai to increase efficiency we not only accelerate the speed of discovery but also open new frontiers of innovation that promise a bright future for all this pi day let us consider how the interaction of ai and research efficiency reflects the essence of mathematical exploration and scientific inquiry just as pi represent the endless pursuit of accuracy and understanding in mathematics it it symbolizes the constant pursuit of optimization and innovation in ai research the today's session speaker is dr upinder kaur ma'am dr upinder kaur is a working as an assistant professor in the department of computer science akal university bathinda punjab she received her phd degree at department of computer science and application kurukshetra university kurukshetra she is in teaching since october 2006 she holds master of technology mtech degree in computer science and engineering from mmec mulana ambala india her main research interest are in the areas of distributed computing distributed data structure cloud computing data science and analytics machine learning support vector machine stream analytics deep learning and bio inspired computing it is etc she is having handles hands on experience on big data analytics analytics data science machine learning python r matlab cloud sim simulators it is etc she has focused in the last few years on research issues in application of deep learning in data science and analytics cloud computing bio signals she has attended many national and international conferences workshops seminar and she has more than 30 research paper in national and international journals and conferences she has also a member of ieee acm and supervising three phd scholars and several graduated and undergraduate student in multi cloud domain and data science in agriculture and deep learning in biosignals uh, i welcome to dr upinder kaur ma'am so very good afternoon to all uh, am i audible yes ma'am so first of all i would like to thanks uh, the organizers dr mehir chand for giving me this opportunity to take some useful talk in this fdp session so first let me share my screen sir so my screen is visible yes ma'am okay so before starting the session let's discuss about the theme for the today's session so my theme is as uh, this is the fourth day of the fdp and uh, from the very first day we are talking about the ai and uh, uh, what are the various option that we have in the ai and the research domain so my concern is basically with the hands on on these tools that can help us in uh, research and uh, research writing somehow and uh, my brief session will be basically on elaborating how we can work on these tools so before starting with this 
let's begin with the round of the session so in this session uh, i have categorized my uh, presentation in the four modules uh, before uh, we as we know that research it is a very vast area similarly ai it is also has a very vast area because nowadays uh, in the yesterday session dr parna has shared uh, a number of uh, uh, ai tools that we can have and uh, having the uh, various options with the free and paid tools so i have categorized these tool under the four options number one we are having the options for prompt and places to start where we can search anything using the ai and we can explore anything like chat gpt brad uh, at lord so there are number of options are there the next clause will be the research and literature review tools and then we have the writing tools we have the grant writing tools for uh, research proposals patent and uh, whatever else we are having in this research area and we also have some tools for the paraphrasing as well as the citation so before starting with this i want to explore something uh, yes i want to share uh, one pdf with all of you uh, i have changed my screen uh, i just want to know will it be visible to all of you i have just changed my presentation this may be visible so, uh, when we are talking about ai in research so there is a number of uh, debate number of factors that as uh, is ai as good uh, should we use ai in research uh, it is ethical or not so this is the use case that we can uh, discuss upon so how safe we can use ai tools in our research so i think if you go with this flow chart so it will be very easy to decide that we need to follow ai in the this or not so first uh, we have a question over here does our input include confidential and private information for example if you are working on some uh, very good or your phd work or your research paper that is a very uh, unique and it is your own original research so is there any uh, requirement to upload that document with the ai tools no we don't need we need to do all the task by manually because uh, if you go with the yes option so it's a, it will be unsafe to use ai tools because uh, when we use these tools so you need to upload your document there and uh, we don't have any option to delete the uh, repository or whatever the data they have stored regarding your research so at that time you can't apply ai in this kind of research otherwise if you go with the no option does the input include content that may commercialize in the future so suddenly not we can't do uh, in that way so other way it is recommended to the first seek the legal advice in the relevant jurisdiction for example if you are doing some research on the healthcare or agriculture or some financial sector or some corporate sector or some uh, uh, other domain where whatever you are searching over the ai it will be reflected somehow so at that time we can't recommend the use of ai because ai is what we are using ai for the uh easiness of our job and we can reduce the uh, huge time that we are spending on the various research papers the main objective is that we can minimize that time we can minimize the that gap we can maximize the ai use in our research but at the ethical extent means everything we can't do with the ai we can take the help of ai but we can't explore everything with the ai so if you want to learn about some topic if you want to explore what we want to uh, find out the relevant research over there then we can definitely go with the ai but uh, there are some ethical issues where we can't use and it is unsafe for the you so we need to take of that extent whenever we are going with the ai so whether we recommend it or we don't recommend it so there are number of tasks so i think this will help you uh, to explore whether you need to do the uh, use the ai tools or not because ai tools are to help out not to replace the human so researchers are always the human but for saving their time that's why we are using ai in that okay i think that aspect is clear so now we will move back to our presentation so first we will see 
uh, I will show you uh, one link. So in this, see here, uh, we are having number of tools. I'm not able to explore all of them at the moment because there is a limited time here. So we are exploring the prompt and places to start. So I'm just finding out the number of tools that we can use like chat GPT, generative AI, agent GPT, Andy, Barley, chat GPT, chat sorting, plot, forefront, written GPT, Gemini, and they are perplexy. There are various tools that we are having not only the chat GPT option, we are having, uh, this is a poor tool is there, we are providing the number of chatbots for a variety of reasons. So if you want to explore these, for example, I have opened this one cloud option there. So I will go one by one exploring these use cases and uh, we will discussing also how these uh, GPT tools can help in somehow. Uh, some, uh, some of the tools are free of cost and some of the we need to pay and we need to purchase the beta plan as well. So this is the tool. Uh, let me show you the, this is the cloud AI. This is the cloud AI tool. Uh, that is given in my PPT as well as in the link that I will provide you afterwards. So in this tool, this is the interface. See, this is the interface that is provided. I have asked one question to this. Uh, the question that I have asked earlier that I want to explore on the print paper prediction. So I can write some another question. I want to get some patent. It can help you to find out number of ideas uh, in this healthcare domain. See, I have given the task to this chat uh, GPT tool. So it will provide you number of options like chat GPT. It provides you number of options. So similarly, chat GPT, we are having also other tools we can explore as much as we can. So in this, what I give me, it gives me basic idea. Uh, conduct a thorough patent search, uh, determine the patentability of that. Uh, Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Is skin, is screen note changing, ma'am. Oh, uh, just wait, sir. I will share the entire screen with all of you. Now it is okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I have, I'm using this AI cloud and it is a similar like chat GPT tool and somehow it is free and obviously if you want to use the some uh, paid version so we need to subscribe or take the pro version of that similarly in the like the chat GPT 4. So this is also to where we can uh, prompt anything, we can learn, we can explore, we can search out things. So can you I'm uh, asking the question from it like we can ask from the chat GPT can you of helping and finding out, finding out the research gaps in the underbrain tumor. So anything you can search, this is the keywords that I'm using, uh, anything we can use, like just do it, right. So we are exploring here. So see here, we can attach the file as well, but it is limited to some extent. So see, I have asked about the research gap under this domain in the healthcare brain tumor. So it provides me that there is a provision of the multimodal data fusion, heterogeneity in the data set, longitudinal analysis of the disease, and uh, interpretability and explainability, and uh, rare and protected brain tumors that is, data set is not available, uh, transfer learning and domain adaptation and the integration with the clinic. These are the gaps that is under this healthcare domain that I have asked for. So <laughs> these AI tools can help out in figuring out these kind of things. Uh, so this is the example with the cloud. And uh, it is uh, just you can ask and it will provide you the prompt according to what we have asked from it. So similarly, we are having the GPT tool. So I'm exploring it as well. So. I have both the option. I have a subscription for the chat GPT-4. So I can ask about, uh, I want to write, let me just wait, suggest me the innovative research ideas in the, in the healthcare. So my screen is changing or not this time because I have shifted to second screen. No, it's okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, good. So suggest me the innovative ideas in the healthcare. So see. So it will provide 
me whatever the relevancy i wanted to explore in the research or the domain i want to work on because for the beginners it is very difficult nowadays uh, to get the time with your supervisor and uh, the, your senior so we need to expand and uh, spend time on your own self so at that moment this chat gpt or uh, the ai tools will will get a wonders for all of you so you can explore whatever the thing or whatever the search idea you want to explore a particular topic deep down in that so it is taking some time so just wait for that so you need to uh, wait for that moment because sometimes the ai tools because of the network speed and so many factors are there so it is time taking so i'm exploring some other tools as well so i have shared this uh, just wait. so i have uh, yes this one so i have shared this one the and uh, the prompt and places to start so agent gpt uh, it will provide us to figure on the various prompts and uh, provide you the data according to that similarly chat gpt all of us aware about this it is a, uh, you can uh, type you can uh, search anything in the chat gpt similarly cloud that we have taken the example recently so we have uh, other tools like freedom gpt gemini gpt4 Yeah, uh, even GPT four point five is also known to be uh, open source. So there is a one more tool, Perplexity, that is also again we can search anything. I want to explore on on the electric vehicle, right? So I have provided the text or the prompt that want to explore. So this wow. GPT tool, uh, AI tool, will help me in finding out the number of things under this, and I can explore and learn according to this. So these are the tools in which we can search anything, we can explore anything. So what are the benefits of doing this? Uh, I want to explore for the research innovation. So these are the tools that we are exploring for asking anything from the our prompt uh, searching. in the ai tools so in the AI research it will highlight the areas or the countries where we are working on this electric vehicles so similarly whatever the question you have it will provide you the generated image for that for we need to go with the subscription and otherwise it is free at somehow or uh, maximum things we can do with the searching we can do with the free free account and uh, if you want to explore the pro features definitely it will be the you need to go with the payment option and the subscription option so similarly we have explored chat gpt we have explored applaud we have you explored the proplexity so see why it is not giving me anything again i'm searching i want to get the innovative uh, research ideas for each in trick so i have searched upon this in the chat gpt so it is providing me the information it will give me some brain thought so like uh, we can explore the battery technology can explore the vehicle to grid system so it will give me the some of the ideas where we can explore and get more and more under this so similarly we are having various options we are having number of ai tools uh, that i have just shared with all of you so we have explored four to five tools under this so every tool in the this is work with the prompt that you have given in that tool so prompt is very very important i will also share you some of the links and the prompt where we get a very concise and precise uh, research or content that we are looking for from the ai tools i will also provide that so similarly gemini is there perplexity is there uh, go is also there uh, so you can also prepare so we are having number of options in the ai tools whatever you want you can explore so every tools providing you the opportunity to explore more and more. so i want to get the research gap in this automatic vehicles so see i have used one another tool for and it is also included with the chat gpt4 and it is also providing you number of options that we can do with the ai so again okay, this is, uh, agent is also providing me whatever the prompt i have given to this and uh, provided me the research related to this and explore number of options 
So see, uh, it give me the option for the cyber security in the automated vehicle. So I can explore and go with this research idea. So I can explore more and more and looking out whatever the gaps we, uh, we can spot, search out about the related papers, connected papers and all that. So again, what I understand from that, so on chat GPT is not the only tool. If you have any research related and your specific prompt, we are having ample of options there. You can explore any of these options. You can get whatever you want and it will provide you free content, whatever the limit is there. You can go with the free content and the rest of the, if you want to go with the article suitable for you, you can go with the subscription also. So this is the first phase that we have covered with the prompt and places to start where we can explore AI and we can explore AI in our research domain or research ideas. So next, once we have selected the topic, we had get an idea and uh, where we want to proceed in your research. So next, a very beginning phase of this, it is go with the research and literature review tools. Go with the research and literature review tools. So it is a very tricky and a very uh, hectic work, work on the literature review because whenever you are beginning with your research or PhD, so first thing that we need to work on, it is the literature review. So in this literature review, we are have a variety of options. Some of them are paid, some of them are uh, subscription. Uh, free of cost as well as the subscription. So see, there is a ask your PDF. So you are having a research paper that is having this PDF. You need to upload your document and you can ask these some of the questions without go through with the entire PDF. So it means it is not required now a days to get a printed of your PDF and uh, take a lot of hours to read that and conclude what that is in the, that research paper. So these tools is minimizing our literature review time. So it is a very useful time that we can save with these AI tools. So I'm exploring some of them here. So first of all, go with the consensus. Uh, the tool I'm using here is the consensus. I'm highlighting it, consensus. So in every AI tool, first of all, you need to go with your account. So it is uh, free and uh, whatever the limit they are giving you go with the free accounts. If you feel suitable for you, then only go with the subscription. So in the consensus, I have uploaded one research paper here. So again, this research papers, this is the first research paper that I have given. So even I have explored upon this. So what you can, it will provide you the snapshot of that paper because see, it is a paid one. So it is highlighting me to go with the premium version, but I'm going with the free section that, that is provided. So it will provide me the systematic literature review regarding this topic. I'm searching about the uh, deep learning methods in the medical research. So I'm exploring the healthcare domain here. So it is also suggesting me some of the references that is in the, this. So it will providing me that this is the references that is under this, you can get the uh, study snapshot. It will provide you that uh, this paper is asked about whatever the study methods, this uh, snapshot will be provided to you to under the premium version. You can save it, you can cite it, or you can share it with your team. These are the options provided by you the, under the consensus. So you can go with the, some other options. I am uh, searching for the machine learning, explainable AI, AI in healthcare, right? So I'm searching some other options is there. So it is also providing me these options, synthesize and co-pilot, and definitely they are under the paid versions. So what I have searched here, I have explainable AI in healthcare. It will provide you some of the papers relevant to this and also provide a snapshot of this site. It is a literature review. It is a, a article and uh, it is a systematic. It will provide you the information that this kind of paper provided you. What information you are having the option of the filters here. Like if, if area you want to search on, you can find in out the number of years, you all years, or you can select one particular year. You can select open access or paid 
and you can also finding out uh, whatever the citation criteria you can also check out the methods you need to work on the meta analysis paper systematic review your clinical trials observation study literature review case report so whatever the option you are looking for in your literature you can go with that and apply on these filter your research will be changed here so these are the methods you can also refer to the journals we are looking for in this data you can also finding out the research area domain which we are going to filter under this consensus so these are the options for your search for example i am selecting the year 2024 only so now the data will be changed after applying the filter whatever the paper displayed here see here we are getting only 2024 options and the rest of the options are filtered out so if i provided the citation information and other filters so it will provide me the or if you want to use whatever the research that is taken by this consensus tool so simple option is there export csv so see i have done this export csv so this csv file is opened now uh, i think sir this is visible this uh, csv file i have just opened after this consensus tool yes more visible okay so see whatever the uh, data that we are getting under this we get the title we are getting the year we are getting the citation information because i have just check out the recently 2024 so we are getting a less number of citations here so journal abstract consensus link uh, consensus is also wine with the uh, chat gpt is also uh, consensus is also available in the chat gpt4 so see uh, what we can do we can search out with the consensus we can finding out the relevant paper for your literature we can download the csv file we can bookmark or save your research to the favorite it will provided uh, not in the free plan but if you grow with the premium version you are having all number of options so see here this a four pilot is there this the synthesis option is there it will also help you to explore more and more than the your research see uh, if i go with this i click on this research paper it will give me the journal snapshot journal slabs are for example population size sample size methods outcome because it is not that kind of paper getting this kind of data otherwise it will provide you the stats that is related to this particular paper so if you want to use that for you can save it and you have to create your list so you can use so this consensus tool for your literature review this is the first tool we are exploring so number of options we are getting here we are going back so if you want to synthesize because it is not available in the free option so go pilot you again need to go with the premium version so these are the number of options here so let's explore linked copy if you want to copy this link and use it somewhere else you can copy this link as well so this is the consensus tool so let's go with the another so there is a one more if we have a number of pdfs and we want to explore this so we are having one another tool that is the explain paper this is also ai tool that we can use with the uh, this a pdf for example whatever the thing if you want to for example i want to know about this microbes just wait a minute i want i have uploaded this pdf or if you go with this uh, explain paper just wait if you go with the google explain paper the very first tool you are getting here click on that explore uh, your free account go with your free account upload some pdf here so i have already uploaded to pdf so i am going with that so i am clicking on that so whatever the pdf i have uploaded here it is going to open now so this is the pd so it will help me to better readability of the paper that we are looking for under your literature for example i want to know about this this paragraph i want to learn about this paragraph so i am highlighting it explain so this whatever the highlighted area it provided me this test discuss about the microbial communities found in the unplugment of the sparrow living so explain paper it help us to why finding out or explore the difficult terms that we are having in our research papers it is also give you the options to explore more options under this same category ask for the follow up 
and you can also ask some more questions because if we are working on this and uh, you want to keep in note of that whatever we have searched at least we can go with this so explain it paper is only free version uh, it is giving us only that we can chat with the paper we can finding out the difficult terms within the paper for uh, to chat with the paper we need to explore with the upgraded versions because we are having a limited content under the free version okay so explain paper some more tools we want to work on like uh, research rabbit so it is a very good tool and uh, giving you very good options under the free version so let's explore this so uh, i have uploaded some of the options under this uh, i have used it earlier and uh, i have saved some of the options under this so see uh, in my collection i have this deep learning in the agriculture i have selected this paper so what it gave me in reflect of that research rabbit is the tool here research rabbit so it will provide me that this paper i have selected here it will provide it me the option that like the similar kind of work whatever uh, in this it is a review paper so similar kind of review there are 221 options and there are four citation of this book and there are the number of other authors and it will also give me the providing the list of the suggested authors that are under this domain so research rabbit help me explore you can add more paper you just need uh, you just go with the google scholar uh, just wait let me finding out some doi like google scholar finding out some doi the research paper any thing you are looking for artificial intelligence in healthcare so role of ai uh, i am mean, looking for this paper so just go with the doi so just wait we are exploring the doi from here yes it is about to get so i am copying this doi i am copying this doi in the research rabbit i am pasting this doi add directly so the new paper that i have just searched it is available now so n number of papers you can add in your collection under the free version it is providing with this option so if you want to select then one select the option it will give you the other options related to the uh, the number of similar work so see i have explored the similar work it give you the number of options it also provide you the uh connected map of these research paper i am exploring it see it will also provide you the connected map of these paper and if you want to explore and more and more you can go so further connection is going to build up you can make the clusters of your research in the literature review you can show or hide the connections you can zoom in zoom out even you can download it so see here this connection is between 56 authors so whatever the author you can click on that it will show the paper also so you can select you can filter out the content also you can comment out if you want some of the uh, not relevant to you you want to work on you can filter out the content that is not relevant to you after that you can export the csv file as well that you provide with all the information that we have extracted using this research rabbit see until uh, this will provide you the list of 51 papers with the year journal author title abstract and their doi and pmi and your id so we can use for the citation we can explore we can add on the research diagrams under the cluster of the authors and the citation a number of things we can explore with the research lab you see i start with one paper i go on explore more and more and we are getting number of options i am not required any web of science or any scopus tool it will provide our link with the free options like pubmed google scholar and some of the options there we are getting content from it so similarly we are having options i can uh, use the csv file or is file for the references as well as the web text any of these files i can use if you want to filter out or explore other or make out the save for future you can uh, finding out the new collections 
you can add the category you can add the collection under collection you can add number of paper see under i have two collections here my demo collection and my collection and 8 and 5 are the number of papers that are saved under this collections similarly it is also easily connected with your the citation the tool that is this that you can link it with that also so we also know that number of ai tools is providing you the uh, opportunity to connect with your uh, like word we are having the google chrome extensions also so that is a very fast and easiest way to explore the literature review using this ai tools so this is the second tool i have also lots and lots of tools just go with the next tool we need to explore with the connected papers so i have just copied one url so another tool i am using to explore that is the connected papers.com it is a, again a one tool that all providing us to help out the finding out the literature review so i am connected with the connected papers so i have provided one doi and uh, again after that doi it will linked with me all the relevant paper that is related to the doi that i have searched here so see this diagram you can take a snip a snapshot you can figure out is as your literature review image you can click on that and they are having multiple options as well for example in the list view see whatever the papers i am getting here it will provide you the complete tabular format title authors years number of citations number of references similarity to original you can even download it you are having option with the list view you are having option with the graphical view you can finding out the prior works of these and also the derived works after this the paper prior means that is beyond and uh, after this so you can explore all this prior work before this and after this and even you can download all the content that is relevant to this with this connected papers so i want to hide this one so see there are number of options that i am getting here we are also having a number of filters that we connected paper providing us so in the filter see a uh, pdf available or not open access is not code is available with the paper or not we can filter out so filter by the year we can filter out by the year or we can add some other things also that we can apply so our research will be finding out on that way so we are having a graph version we are having a full screen option so we are having other options we can download we can share the graph as well so graphical view mm -hmm. shifting to the graphical view so we are having number of options graph version full screen download share so this is the graph that we are using with the literature analysis tools we are making with them so now ai tool is helping us in that so you can so it is also providing that this is the literature from 2008 to 2023 these are the number of authors in this particular domain and this is the link between that okay so you can work on that you can take the screenshot you can use this image and you can use this graph you can send to this graph as per your requirement whatever the thing you want with this you can work on you can explore you can filter out the content that is relevant to you for your literature and moreover it is also providing you the option for the share also okay so research rabbit we have done with that so ask your pdf another tool that we can explore for the literature review that is ask your pdf we are having number of tools related to the pdf and uh, how these tools help us in because we are having number of research paper in the pdf format and uh, we have to work on uh, the number of keywords what we need to explore how we can figure out the search gap number of things is there so it is also providing you the uh, mind map in these pdfs so we can figure out the research term that is linked with as per the research so at that level ai is supporting us this 
So next tool I'm exploring here. Recording in progress. And the next tool I'm exploring here, it is the Ask Your PDF. So again, we need to upload one paper here. I have a uh, sir, I'm getting the disturbance, so all the mics are muted, so it will be easier yes, for me to continue. Okay, I'll continue. Yes. So, in the Ask Your PDF, I am uploading one of the research paper here. So, when you are exploring this, so it will provide, you can ask any question related, I want for example, it is also suggesting me some of the, for example, finding out the uh, key finding of this research, institutes, genotype, and other options. So I'm wanted to know key findings. So this question is typed here. Even you can ask your own question here. And I'm going for the search option. So it is generating answer from my PDF that I have. The key finding in this research article is the rapid phenotyping evaluation or it is providing me the option that have taken in the, this research paper. Also providing you the options, page number one, page number four, and page number nine. So if you want to explore, if it is of the 30, 40 pages long research paper, it will limit your time. You need to work on, on that particular pages. So if you are looking for some of the questions regarding the research article, Obviously, uh, it will provide you one PDF, two PDF, uh, and uh, if you want to uh, upload the bulk of the PDFs, you need to go with the upgraded version. So any document you can explore, any document you can ask, whatever the question uh, is, there are any uh, findings in this. I can ask my own question, not related to whatever the visibility is there. So you can, whatever the type, it will give you the result as per your research. So this is the next tool that we have explored for the literature review. So we are having some other options as well. Chat PDF. This is, was the Ask Your PDF. This was one tool. And uh, I have one more option, Chat PDF. This is the another tool, Chat PDF. So in the chat PDF, it is a similar kind of tool. So I'm just providing you the new PDF under this. I have created one free account and provided this one PDF. And uh, it is the sample questions that are providing me. Uh, what are the key monitoring? How can UAV uh, remote sensing? And what is the potential benefits? I want to know the uh, conclusion of this. So I have asked from the PDF, so it will provide me the conclusion and key points. Research gap, I'm looking for research gaps. So again, it is exploring the other options, long-term monitoring, these are the key gaps under this research paper. Similarly, see, we are using the fourth or fifth tool to explore the literature review. So this, I want another tool that is the doc analyzer. Another tool that we need to explore that is the doc analyzer. Doc analyzer. Uh, so see, I have asked, I have uploaded one document here. See, there is a one document shown here that I have uplo uploaded here. And uh, after uploading, I'm asking for some questions related to that PDF. So we are having number of options. If one, uh, yeah, it tool is providing you the limit for the one or two PDF, so we can explore more and more. There is a, uh, some other tools like a credit PDF that is linked with your uh, Google Chrome extension. So we are have variety of options. So see, I want to check the results section, results of this, of this. So see, I have asked for the research uh, results section. Under this, it is providing me some information, whatever extracted from my PDF I showed to us. See, 
it is providing me page number 15 also hyperlink that so i have clicked on that immediately page number 15 will be opened up and we can explore see so this is the result and this so it is saving my time a lot and a lot and exploring all the pdf as per my requirement uh, under this i can explore 30 to 40 pdfs in a day and learn about the major key finding major areas research gaps and uh, uh, go for the citation and uh, finding out the relevancy in our this and uh, figure out the number of citation pattern so lots and lots we can explore under the literature review of this paper so we explore the doc analyzer we explore the chat pdf we have also explored about the ask your pdf we have explored about the research rabbit connected papers we also have other options as well so just wait we are having all lot of options here so like connected paper consensus dancer dimension ai doc analyzer dovetail elicit elicit is also very good uh, tools that is also somehow providing you the free content so similarly we are having jenny insightful insightful kinos so lit maps it is a very good tool so we are having variety of options i am again exploring one doi just wait we will copy again this and uh, providing this to the lit map and going for the search so i'm using the lit map now it is not free somehow it will provide you one or two such free of cost so it is similarly like connected paper so see it will provide you the author network it will provide you the citation network you can save whatever you have searched it will provide you the relevant articles if you want to filter out these you can select other files will be dropped you can finding out the selected so see there are number of options under the literature review and all these are helping us in minimizing our time gap we can take the snapshot of our, export this feature for your uh, literature review so we are having lots and lots of options map this article what under this we can explore we can view the results so number of options we are cited by we can finding out we can change the algorithms here map relevance you can finding out the date so variety of options providing to us to explore more and more under the literature so again check out this these are the options so to explore all of them within the limited time it is very difficult so i'm providing you this link site space is there scholar is there site space co-pilot is there site is there site summary is there so these are number of options that we can go for your research and literature review tools so all these tools are help us a lot in saving our time in uh, finding out the literature review for the relevant research area you are looking for saving your time you can finding out the research gap you can explore more and more search paper you can finding out the search pattern you can finding out the keywords so number of things it is provided you even you can explore and export the results also as per your requirement so now i'm shifting to the next option that is the writing tools writing tools so when we have an idea and we have done the experimentation part but uh, we are not very good in uh, writing the scientific style that is general looking for from us so what we need we need some help from the ai tools so that will help us in write better and uh, paraphrase for example uh, literature review if you want to write so because we are not doing anything with the literature review so what we want whatever the research paper we have collected we can go with the these tools writing tools that help us in writing a, a literature review for that 
For example, if you have prepared any paragraph, any Excel table or word table, you can copy paste that table in the chat GPT or these tools. They will help us in writing more and more. And as per your requirement, you can get that in very less time. So just go with the Qbolt. So see, because we need to explore. Qbolt is a paid as well as the free tool to some account some number of words we can use for the free otherwise it is a paid tool so just wait i want for the like paraphraser so i'm taking uh content from some of the research papers like uh, i'm going to copy this see i'm copying your the content just take out some other paper just give me like i have this content i have copied this and uh, i'm going in this keyboard where i have opened it okay i am open again yes this one so i copied it here i click on the paraphrase so what it did it will rewrite the same thing as per my requirement so it is providing you in the number of languages see here african chinese danish dutch english in the different styles by this tool in these having these are the options standard and fluency or uh, these are the yellow one of the paid option that is not available on the free account and this key vault is also providing you the grammar checker if you are writing something and you are afraid of uh, your english or some grammatical mistake it will also help in that so see, it is going for the grammar check. So it is highlighting that there are the seven mistakes. So you can fix all of them. So now zero mistake is there and uh, zero mistake is there and you can copy the content and paste in your article. Similarly, uh, summarizer is there. If you are having a long, long text and you want to summarize it in the two or three lines, so that can also be done with the help of you want. See, always there is a upgrade to premium. So if you want to fully use or this one, so we need to go with the premium option. It is also providing you the citation. For example, I'm pasting just to read what option we have selected and then this one so just select it in the keyboard and i am providing and i want to cite this one okay i want to give the url so url i'm copying here so see i have copied the url and want to cite this one so it is write it me this and cite manually i can add the title description website name or whatever the things that is related to this and qbolt is providing me the citation for this it is providing me the option for journal article web page book and number of options under this you can create so qbolt is a good tool that is providing you variety of options for the research writing okay so next we need to explore other tools so there is one very good tool that is the word tool so try for free try for free it is similar like you want so i'm going with the free option here it is also similar to the uh, okay i got the option now it is working in a while yes welcome page is opening now so these are the tools uh, for the study it is asking for my language English. So I don't want to add in my Chrome or explore. Okay. So I hope it is opening now. Yes, we got it. So just finding out some text that we want to paraphrase using this. So this is the what you do. So I again copy here. So I want it will rewrite for me. So it will give you the number of options. So whatever the option is suitable to you, you can replace one. You can continue write. You want to write extra, you can use it that. So there are 
two paraphrasing tools that we have used. We can also do the paraphrasing with the chat GPT 3.5 also, just finding out the text that you want and give up the command that go for the, do the paraphrasing for me, it will provide you. So see, this is the what tool tool that will provide you the number of options and you can able to rephrase. There are also number of uh, casual, formal, short, and expanded. These are also the number of options under which you can able to paraphrase the content that you want. Okay. So we have explored the paraphrasing tools. Similarly, we are having other options, AI Writer, Article Forge, Hanumata. So let's explore this one also. Now, Earlier it was free, but now it is asking like, uh, so it is asking for login. So let's try. So I need to sign up. I'm not using that one. So I have used the paraphrasing tool, Qbolt and uh, the uh, word tool. So there are a number of other options as well, like AI Writer, Article Forge, Hanumata, Jenny AI, Paperfall, Sudorite, Textro, Rightful and right Sony. So all these are the paraphrasing tools. If you are having any problem with writing whatever the text you are making, you can use these tools. It will provide you the better idea and better writing capacity. So it is also helping and saving our time because lots of time is taken by the literature review. If once you have listed out number of papers, then you have to finalize the content that is related to this. So these tools are helping you in that. So I think uh, till now, everything is okay with all of you. All the things we are getting till now, okay. So let's explore some other tool for the paraphrasing. So GPT minus one. So again, whatever the text you want, it is free as compared to, it is not as powerful as other two. So I'm just lessen the content. Okay, GPT minus one. So I'm submitting here. So it has provided you the paraphrased content. See, it is the changing the number of synonyms it that's defined here it is changed with the outline and also highlighted the words that is changed by this G gpt minus one so similarly there is one more tool that is the spin bolt spin bolt so if it is not working so let's explore here spin bolt spin bolt paraphrasing tool yes so we are having number of paraphrasing tools and maximum are free to some extent. So basic paraphrasing, so see, it has changed my context here and uh, basic paraphrasing tool is here. And if you want to have advanced paraphrasing, so obviously it is under the paid versions available, or uh, it is provides you the text spinner option, grammar checker and summarize option. So these are the number of options providing under this paraphrasing tool. So four to five paraphrasing tools till now we have just discussed about. So we have used it, we have tried it. So whatever the thing you like, which paraphrasing tools you like, the performance as per your, you can wait out. You can choose, you can select that one. If you want to look for the purchasing option, it is up to your demand, up to your need that is fulfilled by the, that particular tool. Okay. So if we go with the tools like uh, we have other earlier discussed, the report tool is there, GPT-4 is there, like Prad is there. So if you are using that tools, so I don't suggest we need to again pay with the grant writing tools. But these are the tools that is providing for too fast and speeding up your process of writing the research proposals because they are providing you the, see they are the paid one. <coughs> so very less amount of thing is limited to this under the free versions. So I will share you the link you can explore and uh, grantable 
so these are the options where we are having a particular format for example if you want to go with the research pro project it will give you the template under the template it will provide you the number of options to work on your research project and the grant you are looking for so similarly we have discussed about the paraphrasing tool literature review and prompt and there are some tools with the ai even i have seen that uh, the some uh, Cubolt and uh, other AI tools providing you the citation facility also. So apart from this, we are having some more tools that help us in the citation as well. And these are the mybib.com. So mybib.com, it is the bibliography that we want to add in our paper. Okay. So how to use this? A new start a new project. Okay, start a new project and uh, add a citation. So there are a number of options. You can all give out the website link, book, journal, or any image or video you want to add on. You can link that one. For example, I want to go with the journal. Okay, again, I need a DOI number. So just go with that. I'm again copying this once again and uh, just wait i have searched for this because it is a journal article so it is giving me the option so i want this citation or you can also enter manually cited author title published date name of the journal otherwise you go and select with the doi it will provide you this citation right so once you have saved, uh, it is not added. Okay. Search no, because it was a journal. Okay. okay. I want to save this. Save. Saved. Okay. So see here, citation came here. Just copy it and paste in your document. Just copy this citation and change it in document. You can also finding out the citation style. There are a number of styles as per the journals. You can go with the different citation styles. You can change the citation style. Save it. The citation will be changed as per that. Just copy it and paste in your document. So it is saving you a lot of time in creating the references and citations. So this is the one option. We are having one more link that is site fast. Just wait. Site fast. So link is not working. So let's explore here. Site fast. Okay. So this is the link I again get for the citation references. So see, it is a more easier one. If you are not having the DOI number, just go with the URL. Copy that. And paste it here. URL. Search. So it will provide you the citation, save the citation, and you will get option, copy, and paste it in your the document where you want to paste it. So there are a number of options. We are having a different styles. You can choose the citation style. You can explore the online options. So we are having variety of options. Uh, there is one tool that is the Scholar AC. And uh, if you have any research paper and uh, you want to work on, I have shown, I will show you. This is the tool Scholar AC. It is also the AI tool that help in literature. So it will give you the option that if you upload the PDF, it will extract all the references in that PDF. But I not fortunate enough to have it because it is a totally paid option so that option i'm looking for it is the paid one so we can't explore so this is the tool scholar ac if you have to upload the references in the particular pdf so it will extract all the references that provided to you you can download the file that one and use it in your citation or reference in as tools like mandalay zerato and other or end notes so there are variety of options in ai ai is exploring more and more for us so helping in us and also we are having a lot of subscription go with this number of tools see whatever likes you whatever fulfills your demand so 
also there is a second thought we can uh, work on that uh, either we are using ai in the right sense or not always remember these thoughts that uh, if you are using ai it is affordable to use that one or not so always take a that thought and go with the options that you are looking for okay so these are the number of options that we have just used and we have explored the area where we can use the ai in the prompt section in the literature review in the paraphrasing and for citation analysis and uh, due to the some uh, violations in the paid content we are not able to explore the grant versions also but no way i am sharing all this content with you you can explore each and every link that is provided under this so that you can explore so multiple free options you can work on so let me check if other tool we can explore and discuss so just give me a minute so we have go with the number of options yes kram ji hanumata we have worked with okay so number of options i have explored here so if anybody uh, if anyone has any doubt or want to ask so can ask now uh, before starting with that i also want to explore one new tool that is not very very popular nowadays but uh, sometimes uh the number of journals is checking for the or uh, authoritability whatever the content we are giving in our literature review or the search paper they are checking whatever the content we have written it is the ai written content or it is the human written content so there is one paid tool so i'm not getting just wait yes hix bypass so i'm showing uh, giving you this tool also so this tool helps you to convert whatever the content that is written with the ai into the human version so just see there is the text that is uh, it is a paid uh, paid tool so with 50 words it is the limit that we can use it for the free otherwise is totally paid option so if you have uh, any problem with the ai content or ai related content then you can go with that otherwise there is no requirement of this so hix bypass so the content that i want to convert that is written by the ai so i click on this humanize so see it will go under the number of ai tools the gtp other zero zero gtp and number of tools the uh, zero gpt copy leaks zero gpt cross plug sapling writer content skills open ai so it is talked about all it search about all these areas and convert this text into the human readable form so whenever now you check this one under the any tool like turnitin so it is not uh, detecting whatever the content and it is with the ai or not but it is a paid tool i am not recommending it because if you are using ai to help you in research it doesn't mean that we want ai to do research if you have problem with the write up you can use chat gpt you can use the other ai tool but the idea is yours the research is conducted by you it is helping us somehow to exploring and saving our time so use ai in the ethical way and it is valuable for us only that if we are using uh, uh, ai all it will replace it is not possible at all so do your research use these tools to safeguard your time and give you the better opportunity to do more and tools in less time but it doesn't mean that using ai only and never using any human ideas or your own original research so with the, with this discussion i am open to uh, whatever the question you want to explore you want to ask you can so i am not interested in any option so i am closing it okay
सर आई एम क्लोज फ्रॉम माई सेशन नाउ इफ एनी ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट वॉन्ट आई विल प्रोवाइड यू दी पी टी एंड द लिंक्स डेट आई हैव एक्सप्लोर आई विल शेयर यू ऑल दैट कंटेंट एंड वट एवर दी पी टी एफ आई शोर इन दी स्टार्टिंग दैट विल प्रोवाइड यू वेयर वी नीड टू यूज ए आई आर नॉट सो एथिकली वी रिकमेंड इट आर नॉट सो आई विल शेयर ऑल दैट कंटेंट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ एनी पार्टिसिपेंट हैव एनी डाउट और वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस और हैव एन एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क एन ओपन टू दैट वन थैंक यू मैम हाँ जी Thanks. Uh, one participant is asking. Okay. Question in chat box. Ma'am, uh, let me check on. Ma'am, is there any? Is there? Um, do this AI tool will work in all sector? I mean, yes. AI is providing you help in any where. Either in the commerce, in the banking, in the mathematics, in the healthcare, in the agriculture, everywhere you can use. ai tools but only related is that yes uh, any plagiarism check ai tools yes uh, but uh, i don't have any options like free uh, version because whatever the journal looking for they are only preferred the turnitin and there is no tool that will able to replace turnitin even we have i'm showing you that undetected ai zero ctp undetected ai so these are the tools undetected ai so there are other tools as well so why it is not showing just wait zero gpt is the tool zero gpt so there is number of tools but turnit is the best one and journal is uh, journals are only relied on that turnit in and uh, in the starting i have told you that if you have your original content never drop that content in the ai tools because these tools has some repository that is not under your control and if you uploaded your file here so you will never ever to delete and up the research jo hai wo waste ho jayegi so i never recommend to use these tools for your original research just take somehow help in the introduction part in the write up part in the literature part and do research by your own so like zero gpt there are other tools as well undetected ai undetected ai there are number of tools but they can't bypass or surpass turnitin they can't replace turnitin because the level of these tools is not as per that aspect and i also not recommending to upload your research content under these tools so uh, and i have answered that question is it uh, about your satisfaction level or not any other question participants okay thank you ma'am thank i would like to express my heartfelt thanks to respected speaker dr upender kaur ma'am you have said in your instance and inspire us with her patience for artificial intelligence thank you so much ma'am for excellent presentation now we, technical team please share the appreciation certificate please ma'am accept the appreciation certificate thank you sir thanks a lot thank you so much ma'am for joining and a wonderful lecture thank you sir Today's... thank you for giving me this opportunity and uh, i will share all the relevant content so that everyone take the advantage of this thank you so much thanks Okay technical team close the session